Noon, the family of the man killed in this crash in Santa Clara County is calling out Tesla, the new lawsuit filed today. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. The family of a man who died driving a Tesla on autopilot last year is filing a wrongful death lawsuit. They claim the company is beta testing its technology on our roadways. KPIX 5's Ann Makovic has more on the accusations. This lawsuit is being filed not only against Tesla, but also possibly its subcontractors who helped with the design and manufacturing of the autopilot system. This is what was left of Walter Wong's Tesla after it crashed into a barrier on 101 in Mountain View in March of last year. Wong was killed. The 2017 Model X was on autopilot at the time. His wife says it was his dream car. It's his birthday gift. I give him. The family believes the autopilot feature is defective and likely caused Wong's death. It took him out of his lane of safety, pointed him at a fixed concrete barrier, then accelerated almost 10 miles an hour uh, in three seconds. They say he complained about his Tesla veering into the same barrier at the exact location of the crash and that he brought his car into the dealership several times to report a problem with the autopilot function. The grounds for the suit, defective product design and intentional misrepresentation. In a statement soon after the crash, the company said, quote, no action had been taken by the driver who had a five second view of the concrete divider. The driver had received several visual and audible hands on warnings or Earlier in the drive, and the driver's hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision. Trying to put the onus on Mr. Wong to suggest that he should figure out what Tesla's job really is um, is really unfair. The family is also suing California, saying the highway median was missing its crash guard, which could have made Wong's injuries more severe. His family is suing for unspecified monetary damages. I just won. This happened to other family Latin. The NTSB has yet to release the results of its investigation.